When you work on a photorealistic compositing or matte painting, very important to pay attention to the perspective. An easy way to watch this and be sure they are matched together, it is watch for this horizontal line. How does the horizontal line is effect? So for example, let's look right here on this gray screen and you can see the our camera and its positioning point on the middle of the object. So if we just take a camera and move up right here, you'll notice our horizontal line still be same. Our object will drop down, but overall we don't change perspective, so horizontal line will be same. And if I take this object isolated and bring up, you won't see any difference. It still fit right in this area. So if we take our camera and bring down, you'll notice our horizontal line again still be in the same place. We just move shift our object a little bit up or down on our vertical. The tilting camera, however, will affect the horizontal line. So example right here, we'll go take a camera and we tilt down. So notice right here, this is when camera looks straight forward, you'll see our horizontal line. And right here, when we tilt our camera down, then you can see our horizontal line go up. So in this case, if I try to take this object isolated and putting in this environment, you will notice it they won't match because our perspective is changed. So same if we take the camera and tilt it up, our horizontal line will drop and same, our object won't look necessarily right. So as long you try to match position of horizontal line close enough to your object, you'll be safe in photorealistic or made painting compositing because this way perspective will match closer. We spoke about um, vertical time tilt and shift, but it same will apply if you tilt and shift your camera left and right. But those ones is obvious, more obvious and easy to spot it. So mostly what you need to try to um, work and look on this concept of the tilting camera will change horizontal line, shifting camera will keep horizontal line or perspective in same. And let's continue speaking about some perspective. So right here, example of the object. And this is simulated to a 10 millimeter lens. One thing what I want to keep it, it's this line. This is our perspective lines. Also notice position of the camera. So when we change our lens or millimeters, our camera can be going from fish eye to telephoto. So we have these guardian lines will help us also set properly perspective. So what's happening if we go to 35 millimeter example, and you can see our perspective change as well as our horizontal line. And if we're going to 80 millimeters, it's change even more. So let's as example, we'll go as create a horizontal line on our 10 millimeters. This is our 35 millimeters. You can see horizontal line slightly dropping and we'll go to 80 millimeters and it's dropping even more. As well, we can go inside and we can take opacity so we can kind of overlay some of this perspective line. And you can see right here, we have a 35 millimeters. We have it on the bottom 80 millimeters. And of course we can even bring the other lines and it's a little bit hard to see because they start mixing around, but you'll notice how they start modifying the basic what we have. So again, right here, we have it, our 10 millimeters and 35, you can see our perspective is change. And example right here, we have it, our 35 and our 80 millimeters. And that same change horizontal line and we same have a change some of this perspective. From experience, I found out that as long as you try to keep it even with perspective when you change your lens, but you still keep it same horizontal line uh, positioning, you kind of will be in more safe zone, will be less obvious than um, change perspective by tilting camera. So that will affect a little bit more visually. However, watching for this um, 
lines for these perspective lines will help you also to set up properly um, backdrop if you want as long you try to keep it your lens size like millimeters what you're shooting close enough to your original or between your backdrop and your model as long you keep it in a plus minus about 10 20 millimeters range you should be safe enough and offset won't be that big visible um, but as an artist you always can experiment with this in some cases i find out this different in the perspective for example when i photo shot model with very um, fish eye type very close up and i put it on a different background that is rendered with uh, about 100 millimeters that was looking off place which is actually bring more interesting look to that so as an artist you can always experiment with those perspectives they're not heart reading stones but they will help you at the beginning to set up properly way and understand how the perspective shifting and till will work together to blend in photorealistic or made painting